Retired NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal has his Florida mansion on the market for a whopping $16.5 million. That's actually a discount considering it was listed for $19.5 million just last year, while the sprawling estate is full of shack made touches and luxury details like 12 bedrooms and 700 feet of lakefront. Aside from this 31,000 square foot mammoth, Shaq also owns a 15 acre spread about 30 miles from Atlanta, Georgia, where it's rumored that he spends most of his time these days. We're gonna take a look at his homes today, we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Shaquille O'Neal is a former pro basketball player and now a sports analyst, widely considered one of the greatest players in NBA history. Not to mention Dr. Shaq has dabbled in everything from being a rapper to getting his PhD. And the man didn't stop at getting his doctor credentials. He's a savvy businessman owning 155 Five Guys burger restaurants, 150 car washes, 40 gyms, a mall, Vegas nightclubs, and much more. Maybe that's why Shaq has a whopping net worth of $400 million or more, and the mansions to show for it. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, looking at the mansions of Shaquille O'Neal. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. This year, Shaq's insane Florida mansion came up on the market for $16.5 million after he attempted to sell it in 2018 for $22 million and in 2020 for $19.5 million with no buyers. This mega mansion was custom designed for the former NBA star and is full of exquisite details curated to deliver the most luxurious experience, as well as a ton of personal touches you'd expect of Shaq. The property is located in the posh and undoubtedly crazy expensive golf community of Islesworth, just outside of Windermere, Florida and close to Orlando. Of course, Shaq's estate is super private and secure, situated on nearly four acres of land with 700 feet of lake frontage on the Butler chain of lakes. Shaq's home measures in at 31,000 square feet of space with 12 beds and 15 bathrooms throughout, while all the bedrooms offer panoramic views of Lake Butler. If 24 hour security isn't enough to make you feel secure, the baller made sure his property was fitted with 15 interior cameras and 18 exterior cameras so intruders stay far away. When Shaq purchased the home for a puny $3.95 million way back in 1993, it didn't even resemble the same structure it is today. It was formerly a 23,000 square foot neo-colonial mansion and Shaquille fixed the place up to boast only the best and clearly expand the place to fit someone of his stature. The mansion features large and open doorways, double height ceilings and handcrafted wood paneling throughout. Walking in, the epic entryway has soaring ceilings overhead, as well as a twin butterfly staircase that reaches up to a second level catwalk. And how about those floors? In usual shack fashion, the shiny hardwood underfoot boasts half circles of black paint to resemble a basketball court. Despite all of Shaq's personal touches we'll be seeing in this tour, the mansion still boasted the basics. A formal dining room with seats for 16, a chef's kitchen with beamed ceilings, stainless steel appliances, granite counters and a wine cooler, as well as a 44 foot long office with lake views. The great room on the main level spanned 1,170 square feet of space alone and had two story ceilings, a marble fireplace and glass walls. While Shaq has no shortage of nicknames, one of them is Big Diesel and he commissioned an aquarium to be built inside the front end of a real truck of the series tanked. At one point, Shaq had this aquarium full of predator fish with the Superman logo in the back. And Superman, well, that's another one of his nicknames. And Shaq wasn't done with the aquarium masters, so he asked them to come back and build an even bigger tank. This one is triangle shaped and is an 8,000 pound, 800 gallon aquarium with pyramids and Shaq inspired hieroglyphics. It's home to many grouper fish and even a dragon eel. The room it's in is also Egyptian themed and has three guardian sphinx. 
Other amenities include a man cave or classy lounge decked out in cherry wood, which also doubles as a cigar bar with views of Lake Butler. It comes with a bar, wine storage, and even a walk-in humidor for those cigars, which Shaq is known to love. Elsewhere, there's a fully equipped recording studio, custom designed soundproof theater with 10 plush recliners, a walk-in safe room, a 67 foot long Florida room facing outside, and more. If that's not enough, the crazy custom rooms keep coming. Naturally, Shaq has a 6,000 square foot NBA certified basketball court, and it's called the Shaq Center, which is displayed right on the floor. I think for that reason, the person who buys this mansion will need to be a fan of the former all-star, at least like a little bit. On the main level of his Florida palace, there's a guest wing with five ensuite bedrooms, with the rest situated upstairs. The upper level also boasts Shaq's former master bedroom that was a sprawling 900 square feet of space with a balcony and an epic four room master closet with custom shelves. While the room's design has been freshened up a bit since, while Shaq was living here, he had a circular 15 by 30 foot Superman themed bed custom made. And this bed alone, it takes up 450 square feet of space. On the grounds of the private estate, the amenities are just as impressive. He called the swimming complex Shacapulco, and there's a 95 foot long, 15 foot deep custom resort style swimming pool. It boasted a rock waterfall, sunken hot tub, and a tiki style cabana overlooking the lake. There were also add-ons like a swim up bar that leads you right to the covered grilling station. Shaq is also known for his impressive car collection, so of course the home had a sprawling showroom-like garage, as well as a 2,100 square foot secondary garage with dance studio and where the recording studio was located. After putting that mega home on the market, it's said that Shaq spends plenty of his time at his estate in Georgia these days, which he purchased in 2016 for $1.15 million. Located in McDonough, Georgia, about 30 miles from downtown Atlanta, the mansion sits on over 14 acres of countryside land with two structures. The main home was built in 2008, while the smaller one was built in 2006, and combined they boast over 7,400 square feet of space with 8 beds and 10 baths. Inside, the vibes are classic and elegant, with the main home being a brick line traditional. There's a two-story entryway with dramatic staircase, nearby an office and gourmet kitchen with top-notch appliances and granite counters. Other rooms here include formal living space with fireplace, a large dining room, and a casual family room attached to the kitchen with stone fireplace, which overlooks the pool. Shaq's master suite is also on the main level of the house, offering up a window line sitting area, a marble ensuite bath with jacuzzi tub and TV, and double walk-in closets. A finished basement level in the Georgia abode has a 12-seat home theater, a games room and a gym, as well as an in-law suite that's completely private. Outside on the park-like property, of course, there's a swimming pool and spa. And across from this, the second residence offers three beds, two baths, and an attached sun porch. Elsewhere on this property, you'll find a three-stall barn and an attached spacious workshop, while rolling lawns and mature trees fill out the grounds. All right, so now we've taken a look at Shaquille O'Neal's homes, including his crazy Florida mansion that's up for sale once again. Let's hope this time he can offload it, because what's the point of a luxury home like that if no one's getting any use of it in all the features? I mean, there's a pool with a swim-up bar calling my name. We also saw where Shaq is allegedly living these days, his estate in Georgia. After checking out the homes, which was your favorite? Or what did you like best in the Florida mansion? Honestly, I think that Egyptian room with the aquarium was pretty cool in its own unique way. Be sure to let me know your choices down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!